family, it's Jamal Brown, a.k.a. Professor Jamal, here to say thank you very much for your purchase of the Black 365 calendar. We can only grow when you like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a church member, tell a co-worker about the Black 365 calendar. www.black365.us is the only place you can find it. Right now, you're about to get some exclusive content for your purchase of the Black 365 calendar. Check out more about this key feature right now. Dr. Betty Shabazz was born in Detroit, Michigan. She was reared by a foster family who taught her the important things in life. Uh, hard work, dedication, internal motivation, perseverance. They also did a tremendous job at insulating her from the harsh realities of racism at that time. It wasn't until she went to the Tuskegee, to, to the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama where she saw for the first time overt racism. She didn't quite know how to handle it. She wanted to fight back. She had a fiery spirit, a strong, independent spirit. So eventually she moved to the Northeast, New York. There she met and married a young minister by the name of Malcolm X. However, this woman would not be overshadowed by the persona of her husband. She was an independent woman, as I mentioned. Uh, she had an undergraduate degree, eventually earned a master's, and eventually earned a doctorate. She was a nurse. She loved nursing and she loved education. So she became an administrator at a university. Truly a dynamic woman, truly a woman who was a quintessential mother. After the assassination of her husband, when she observed at the Audubon Ballroom on February 21st, 1965, she knew that she could not stop. She knew that she couldn't uh, mourn her husband for too, too long because she, she had daughters to raise. And so she picked herself up somewhat went into isolation, leaned heavily on the lives of Coretta Scott King and others, the widow of Medgar Evers. They formed somewhat of a coalition of, of mourning and grieving wives and a support system for each other. And she went on to, uh, again, live a life as an educator, live a life as a tremendous mother, and did all that she could to restore and enhance the life and legacy of her husband, Minister Malcolm X. For these reasons and more, we've included Dr. Betty Shabazz in this year's Black 365 calendar.